and welcome everyone in our living room slash dining room slash gym and probably hall as well. This is only room I can use to decorate our Christmas tree and we can't move anything from here. So I decided to decorate our boxing bag. For that I have created cone from two cardboards, cardstocks, and I decorated very hard way with the garland and uh, then I add their ivory uh, branches and another garland. It was such a hard job. I have to say I spent hours to decorate this one. I didn't film every single steps of this creation or every single steps of what I created later on, which you will see in this video. I uh, filmed just a bit and pieces just to show you what Christmas in my head are. <laughs> lots of creativity and lots of enjoying to create for the year. Uh, as you can see that the boxing bag was moving on the sides a lot. That was very painful. So I decided to fix it. I fix it with the tape. You can see that here. That was like a brilliant idea. <laughs> and uh, meanwhile, when I was thinking how I will decorate it, I did also our centerpiece. And again, you will don't see all redecorating our last year centerpiece. You will see just steps, how I took off the last year uh, decorations and how I created moon shape from Christmas wreath ring. It was amazing idea, I have to say. I did enjoy it so much to create from that uh, wreath ring shape of moon and fill it with lights, LED lights, and then fill it with resin. I did enjoy it. Also, I did enjoy to use decorations. I bought our collection for diorama settings. I bought, I think, two, three years ago. I finally use it here in our centerpiece. You will see that in a minute. Uh, little trees and uh, little forest animals. And I have to say, this year diorama is amazing. I really love it. Uh, you can see also that I used the resin to feel that, I think I said that, to feel that moon. I didn't feel full moon shape because that will kill, kill me, I guess, those fumes from resin. So I add the resin just in those tops from the moon. And it's enough. It's holding really well. I also used my fake snow in my centerpiece that's a mix of white sand with glitter and glue and I cover it uh, cover it with this paste that fake snow I used uh, as a first and I have to say it looks amazing that final result is awesome yeah I think you will see that immediately and as I said I didn't film everything because you know it was just step here, step there, and it will be too confusing. So this is just quick sneak peek what I'm doing for Christmas. And I also created a little village for our window, and you will see that now. For this Christmas are these gorgeous uh, gingerbread houses. And they are designed to be as a page in your junk journal or as a holder, money holder, pocket for your journals or just a cute little insert. But you can also create beautiful decorations for your house using these. And I would like to show you how you can do it. First, uh, I will show you how to use these in your journals. As an insert, as a page in your journal, you're going to fussy cut out outline around these houses and you will follow this line between houses and continue to that second house and cut out both houses as one single piece together. Like this and like this. Then you're gonna grab your houses and where there is that uh, line you're gonna fold it and you have your beautiful insert to your journals you can decorate it with snowy effect 
you can uh, add there some stamps you can distress the edges and add it to your signatures and decorate with these your journal or just simply place it to some pocket and keep it there like little decoration for making these as a, oh, a pocket or money holder you will need to fussy cut out this white spot between houses and uh, make them as a two pieces and if you will notice i am cutting all images with the white board around i'm not uh, getting exactly to the edges uh, the white edge around the images it makes it uh, even more wintry like with that snowy effect so you don't have to be uh, stressed about any kind of exact fussy cutting every single of these images they do have that white border around the image once you do have your two images done put out <coughs> you can take a glue put the glue on three sides and glue the images together and then you do have your pocket for your journals or money holder you can add their money you can add their note and give it as a card to somebody you can also use these images as a home decorative element uh, i added to the background or back side of my pieces uh, this silvery wallpaper i do have here this self-adhesive wallpaper so i glued my papers to this self-adhesive wallpaper and then fussy cut out those houses and i'm gonna create a decoration on our uh, fireplace mantinel using these images i'm gonna attach the houses together using these led lights they are really beautiful and they do have a different type of lighting So I can choose from uh, eight of different uh, type of lighting using this button. For that, I need to cut out every single piece separately. And also I'm going to be cutting the windows and replacing windows with acetate piece so first i'm gonna fussy cut out these images on separate pieces and that silvery uh, wallpaper in the background that will help me to keep a nice beautiful shining in inside I'm cutting the windows now and as you can see I'm not cutting exactly uh, I'm taking my knife and just go and like uh, push through the paper around the window frames and as I said I'm not taking it exactly because it's such a small image and just like this, I'm kind of pushing it out. And here, here, and kind of pushing it out. So 
uh, it will be lots of cutting because there is lots of houses with lots of windows but i hope in the end it will make really beautiful christmas village so i'm gonna continue with all these other houses as well oh there will be so many windows and i will come back once i do have all windows cutted and prepared i have all <laughs> windows cut it uh, it was some job i have to say uh, i did here and there i left the windows full and i cut them on that second piece so when they will be put together i will actually have piece of that uh, you know that um, metallic metallic wallpaper in the background so i didn't cut <coughs> every single piece exactly same now uh, to make it stand as I want to make it like decoration on my windows. I'm going to be using these off cuts. I do have from those sheets. And mostly it is about two inches in the width. The strip. So I'm going to take my scoring board. And I think I would like to have gap. <coughs> between those houses about half inch. So first, I'm going to cut it on one inch because that will be enough. One inch strips. And I do have many houses. So one inch strips. I'm going to cut it here. From my off cuts. <clears throat> then these off cuts I'm gonna score on one quarter and three quarter one quarter here three quarter here and the gap between will be gap between my two uh, two shapes those two houses I'm gonna fold my score lines I have scored and folded most of my off cuts from the houses. I'm gonna take double sided tape and I'm gonna place double sided tape on these sides. Then I can take two houses, measure how big piece I need here on the bottom and one somewhere on the roof and I can start to glue it all together. So one here on the bottom, and one on the roof, I'm gonna take the backing from this one grab my other part and kind of place them together I can stand it up and place them this way or I can try to make it manage it on my table somehow Put together, hold, hold, and put together. <clears throat> so 
I do have something like this. I'm gonna fold. As you can see, I didn't put this gap, uh, this hinge, totally on the bottom. I'm gonna fold a little bit the cardstock on that house this way, and now it can stand, and I can put through that house my light and slide it through have many houses next to each other so slide this wire through to houses and then go back probably in the top you know uh, top etage <laughs> i forgot the name floor <laughs> top floor <laughs> so i can build my houses i'm gonna uh, make this way all my houses and show you how I will put them together. I do have my little village put together and now I can take the lights. First I need to make it straight a little bit. I do have four meters long uh, LED lights. So I believe it will be long enough to put these together in some cute decoration i do have four darker houses and three kind of like lighter color houses so i'm gonna go um, you know always one darker one lighter i think these are big so it will be this 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 and that okay so i can go here on the bottom and if i will want so i can secure uh, the lights always on the edges of the house with a strip of double sided tape maybe uh, if I want to see where the lights are I can switch it on and place them the way I will see them the best I'm gonna take this paper tape this is very light medical tape and it will be strong enough to hold my lights in the houses. And just tape it on one side. Kind of like this. And tape it on other side. Right here. And I'm going to take another house. And do exactly the same. Slide it through. Maybe keep the gap between. Or place them right next to each other it depends what you would like to see i do have small windows so i'm gonna put them close together I do have all houses on that wire and I still have loads of those lights uh, left. So I'm going to go kind of like back uh, and I'm going to fix them close to that first floor windows. <laughs> now I do remember first floor windows to make sure there will be spreaded lights everywhere in those houses. And again, I'm going to fix it on both sides with that tape. So one here, and one on that opposite side.
and going through to all these houses back with that wire. And these lights will hold my houses together in one row. So I do have them put together and now it's time to place them on our window. And this is uh, how our room, how our living room looks now and how the boxing, boxing bag changed the look. I have to say that even my sons are surprised and they said that it looks amazing. We should do that every single year. I love those droppings from the bottom of my tree. They do look amazing. Uh, those white balls, you can see they are styrofoam balls. And I use them also to decorate our uh, window in the kitchen with kind of like droppings. Uh, this is idea what I saw on Pinterest. And I have to say that I'm very, very uh, satisfied with this creation. It makes me so happy that I don't have to do anything else. Uh, unfortunately, my nails got damaged a lot and I had a request to show how I am repairing my or how I am doing my nails. So after my showcase of this <laughs> changed boxing bag, you will see a little bit kind of like short way to show how I am creating my nails, how I am designing my nails. It's very easy, I have to say. So just a little bit more of my change boxing bag. It was a lot of fun to do. I have enjoyed so much and I'm so happy that uh, I sort out uh, or I solved my issue or my problem. How, uh, how the heck I will fit some Christmas tree in this small space? I can't imagine my Christmas tree without uh Christmas without Christmas tree. So I'm very happy that it it did work out. And just a little sneak peek on our little tree trees. I created just a little forest in my home and now about my nails. So I'm on my table because here I am always making my nails. I do have here my coffee tea, uh, my UV lamp. Uh, today I'm going to be using these nails. Uh, I found them on a Temu. They were uh, much cheaper than usual nails I'm uh, getting from Amazon. Uh, usual nail nails I'm buying are these. These are gel strips, something like this. Uh, Self-cured or uh, semi-cured, semi-curing. -cure um, it's not this. This one, semi-curing uh, gel strips, and I do have this one closed, I'm not going to open it. These uh, Danny and Tony are the best, these are, uh, you saw them on my fingers. They are really beautiful, these. So, these are the best I, uh, I had till now. I have to say, they come with this little package. Here were um, kind of like napkins or with alcohol to wipe any dirt from your nails. They come with the sanding file with this uh, wooden pick and with amazing scissors, I have to say. So first, what I'm doing every single time. This is that uh, hardest one. With this size, uh, you can get off any kind of acrylic, uh, it will sand anything. This size, uh, side of the sanding, pile, sanding, <laughs> sanding pile, it's that soft one, which is make your nail very smooth. So every single time when I'm making my nails, I'm smoothing my nails just a little bit. It doesn't have to be like you will take your nails to, you know, parchment paper. <laughs> To tissue paper like like totally thin no not at all just um, wipe anything or sand anything you have on your nails if you have nails uh, fake nails 
either acrylic or gel before so sand it down and then every single time it's good especially with these it's good if you will take uh, wipes wet wipes something uh, without oil you need to wipe off any oil any grease you have on your on your nails that's crucial to make sure these will hold because my nails are really fragile i'm using tips last time i had those french tips those white ones but these <clears throat> they do have beautiful pattern and i don't want to break that pattern with uh, french nails uh, or french tips so i'm gonna be using these uh, clear ones uh, i do have glue for nails here this one it's really good so i'm gonna prepare my nails uh, now i'm gonna uh, kind of try to catch anything what shouldn't be there then i'm gonna be using 99.9 alcohol this is alcohol which i am using for craft as well and for cleaning my nails it's the best one so i'm gonna be using that alcohol spray it on wipes and then clean my nails so i do have prepared here <laughs> my left and right hand to get it glued and it's kind of easy you know apply the glue on the bottom of your tip and then just place it down and hold for a second The best is to do one hand, cut the nails, uh, I mean cut those tips, do other hand, and again cut those tips in the size you need. So, <laughs> I do have those uh, nail tips done. Uh, what I'm doing, I think every time when I'm placing uh, those fake uh, tips i'm sanding them uh, a little bit uh, because what i noticed uh, if i will sand them just a little bit not too much uh, and wipe it again with that alcohol ink these are holding much much better and much much longer so i just sand it with that soften uh, soften side it doesn't have to be ruined so i oh, kind of sand them all and wipe it off again with the uh, alcohol and the application of these is kind of easy but you have to be pre uh, precise I'm, I'm not sure how to explain it do not fling it <laughs> Some, something like that uh, there is so many ways how you, you can place it from here to the end you can place it from the side to the side so it depends uh, how big tip you will take and how big fingers you have uh, i'm always placing those tips or those uh, gel strips a little bit from the end of my nail and just fold it fold it and then this is crucial you can take it off straight away you don't have to have it that uh, film on your nail and this is kind of like what will make your nail hold for a longer time if you will take a time here and you will press it to your nail you should use this wooden pick and with this wooden pick you should kind of press it and stretch it don't forget uh, these are gel nails so you can stretch them a little bit you can uh, make full coverage of your nails with this one just play with it don't forget to press it especially in uh, on the sides and on the end of your nail so <laughs> i've been stretching around those tips and i have to say that with the left hand i'm doing a better job than with the right hand <laughs> just stretch it around your nails 
to make sure you will cover everything see here I do have spots but here this one goes really nicely like this and now when you are ready just put your hand and I'm leaving there always two minutes yeah I had both of my hands in there uh, two minutes you can do this one but you can also bend the nail as you can see so uh, the best is to, to put the top coat but before you will put the top coat you need to shape it so I'm gonna cut the nails take the file and start to shape my nails I have spent some time to you know, to shape the nails I'm not sure if if is it okay but it looks okay they went a little bit yellowish I will see so now that top coat and here uh, just nice coat especially on the edges because the edges are getting uh, lift up really easily so especially on the edges put there a nice amount of the top coat and that's all that's the thing i'm doing and place it of course place it to uv lamp and your nails will be done there is so many so many styles and colors and the decorations on these on these uv strips and i have to say <coughs> that i am feeling all the time that my own nails are getting better i had really terrible nails long time ago really terrible so what you saw how long they are now <laughs> that's kind of like miracle and i do believe that it is because um i'm not sure but you know you you can just stick it it does have some medical glue or or what and it looks like it's healing my nails it's making them stronger slowly but it's it makes them stronger so that's uh, all i'm doing with my nails <laughs> i can do acrylics i can do uh classical gel nails even on my hands i can do that but since i found these i'm not gonna do anything else because this is really fast easy it doesn't i don't have to spend hours to create my nails so it's it's really best choice and here for everyone who loves to create their own christmas decorations uh two years ago i actually made this video which i found recently in my uh in my computer so i'm gonna kind of like walk you through i'm gonna cut it a little bit because it was such a long video i was inspired by pinterest with that the bed spring craft and i did many things two years ago and i also created snowman it was inspiration by fai youtube channel i will put that link for that channel down below go to have a look and i have to say i did enjoy it you maybe saw the snowman under our this year christmas tree i did use styrofoam ball uh, i think it does have eight centimeters in diameter and then I did use one bed spring. First, what I did, uh, I coated that styrofoam ball with bindex. It's, uh, it works kind of like a glue. And then I coated that styrofoam ball with my snow or sand, glitter sand. Uh, that's the mix of white aquarium sand and uh, iridescent glitter. Uh, I left that ball to dry and then I went to decorate the spring. So I took again that bindex, I coated all that bed spring with bindex because it works like a glue. And then I dip it in my mix of uh, weathering powder, rustic weathering powder and uh, cinnamon. That's my homemade <laughs> mix. It looks, it makes beautiful rusty look. So uh, I dipped all my that spring into this uh, powder 
mix and then I coated that spring uh, one more time with that bindex glue to make sure that everything will hold nicely here you can see how beautifully it looks as a rusty uh, <clears throat> then I cut it from cardboard uh, three pieces which will make a hat lately two circles one large one that will be for bottom of the hat one smaller one that will be for top of the hat and uh, kind of like curved strip which will be uh, like body of the hat that large circle I cover it with uh, denim fabric from both sides because that will be visible from both sides and those other two pieces I cover it with the same fabric just from one side because you know inside it will be invisible Uh, once I had all pieces covered with fabric, I glued them together to make hat. It wasn't too hard to make it, you will see that in a minute. Yeah, here you can see I did use hot glue because it dries really fast. I left on all pieces a little bit of the fabric uh, around because uh, denim uh, can be distressed, really easily distressed, so it looks more vintage. And uh, once I had glued that top hat all together uh, I took black painting and I used black acrylic paint to change the color of that hat to make it more vintage and more suitable for my snowman I also needed to create nose for my snowman, so I used uh, cotton pads and baby butts. butts. <laughs> Those cotton pads are made from two places, so I split that one cotton pad. Uh, on one half I applied that bindex because it does work like a glue. I uh, wrapped it around that cotton bud and then with that other half I filled this shape of nose to make it more uh, fluffy and full and I fill it uh, those pieces uh, with that bindex glue to make sure that everything will hold nicely once all was filled with uh, that cotton and the nose shape was the way I wanted I applied that bindex uh, outside uh, kind of like cover all that nose with that bindex to make it strong and make sure it will hold in that shape for coloring uh, of my nose I did use two colors uh, yellow and red and I mixed kind of like orange color to make sure that the nose will look like carrot it was easy to do, it was really fun to do, I do remember that, that I made so many noses like this and I wanted to make so many snow snowmans like this, but somehow I didn't at that, that time, but this was really fun to do. For the eyes of the snowman I did use beads, uh, I had black uh, kind of like flower beads and uh, as a bulb of eye I did use just pins and I colored them with the black acrylic paint to make it... Uh, kind of like those you know uh, black coal eyes then I started to put the, the head of the snowman together uh, if you will notice I uh, cut it a little bit of that snowball or, or that styrofoam ball uh, make it flat to make sure that the hat will hold properly for gluing all parts I did use uhu glue because uh, that was wonderful glue it was holding everything nicely uh, 
and for the gluing uh, those pins in the flower beads I did use the hot glue gun then I glued the carrot nose on the right spot and then I glued inside also those eyes and the head of my snowman was done from the one inch circles I glued together uh, buttons for the body of my snowman these buttons or these circles I did paint it with uh, first the brown acrylic paint and then on the top I added also the red acrylic paint to make it like a vintage red kind of like smashed and distressed buttons these buttons I glued on the body of that spring uh, bed spring body using hot glue it was uh, holding really nicely it's actually holding till today really well so I did glued always one button from the bottom one button from the top and with this I decorated full body of my snowman once I had this done I used Utah string and I kind of created a bed for the head of my snowman then I uh, with using hot glue I also added a scarf and all this jingle bell using Utah string and on the top of the hat I added some little decorations and that's all my sharing for today uh, I hope you did enjoy sneak peek into my Christmas preparation I'm so happy that that boxing bag uh, worked out the way I kind of wished for uh, I had to start so early just because I wasn't sure if I will be successful and if this wouldn't work i will have to came up with some other idea and i didn't know what i i can do in our home so thank you so much to all of you who stayed with me till now and who watched me to create a little things for our christmas i hope you did enjoy it and i hope you had a fun maybe i did inspire you to create some of your decorations i hope you are ready for a first advent week weekend it's this sunday so first candle should be light up i wish you all a beautiful weekend happy preparation for christmas and i hope i will see you soon